the last years, they were not easy for Iceland. The total volume of foreign exchange trading is a hundred times the underlying value of trade in goods and services. We saw what happened here in Iceland with the protests, with the resignation of Prime Minister. It's a natural consequence. But I am personally looking at this situation as an opportunity. No, the scandal and the shame is such, so loud, that it cannot be ignored. For every dollar that is exchanged between someone who wants euros and someone who wants dollars, a hundred dollars are exchanged between people who are simply trading in foreign exchange. So what do all these people in the City of London and in Wall Street and in the finance sector around the world, what do they actually do? We see the lights on in these office blocks late into the night. Uh, we see the limos waiting to pick up the rather well-paid people who work in these offices. But what are they doing? And the answer is to an extent that almost defies the imagination. What they are doing is they are trading with each other. We all knew that there are tax havens. We knew their names, destinations on the global map. But what has been revealed by the documents of only one single company of the dozens and maybe hundreds of companies in Panama out of the dozens of tax havens around the world is really stressing for every person. It shows just the scale of the money which go through these tax havens uh, and offshore zones. It's amazing. It's probably more than a trillion per year. It deprives the public revenues of a lot of money and money which otherwise would be accessible for good public causes, which are essential to every society. This is the world, the self-referential world of the financial system which we've created and which in large degree we still have. It is very important to have such a strong and reliable partner and member in Iceland as the Social Democratic Alliance because we are an international movement by nature. What our partners from the Social Democratic Alliance did after taking the office in a very difficult situation and environment is really not to let the big financial shocks to socialize the losses of the free banks which went bankrupt. And I'm also grateful to our partners here in Iceland for following a policy and defending positions which are keeping the doors uh, of Iceland open for negotiations for EU membership. The EU is not perfect nowadays. We can all see the hardships which it's going through, but this is a great project.